A new exhibit in the gallery at CalIT2 highlights the vibrant paintings of artist Harold Cohen, an artist who throughout his career has blurred the lines between artificial intelligence and art. The exhibition, entitled Collaborations with My Other Self, highlights paintings created by Cohen with the help of his other self, an autonomous computer program known as Aaron. Here's the computer that doesn't have any visual system at all, but it has something that the human being doesn't have, which is an absolutely impeccable memory, an impeccable memory ability for building an internal model. Human beings actually have almost no color imagination. You, you, I can't say to my assistant, I want this, this particular color over there and you want to mix, you know, two parts of this and one part of that and a little bit of that and put it over there. You can't build an image in your head of color. The computer, on the other hand, can do that perfectly well. Cohen began experimenting with autonomous computers during his stint as a visiting scholar at Stanford University's Artificial Intelligence Laboratory in the early 1970s. I was invited up there, in fact, by Ed Feigenbaum, who is... Um, the, the, the guy who invented the term artificial intelligence. But when I started thinking about color and how a computer program might ha handle it and trying to do that in the classic AI terms of modeling my own behavior, I was up against the brick wall. I didn't know how to proceed. And it was only finally when I, I realized what seemed very obvious once I'd realized it, that machines and human beings are really quite different entities, that a program has one set of capabilities that don't correspond at all to a human being's capabilities. Then I started to make progress. One year later, Cohen, who hails from England, became a visiting professor at UC San Diego, which later morphed into a role as the founding director of UCSD's Center for Research and Computing in the Arts, or CIRCA. One of the few artists ever to have become deeply involved in artificial intelligence, Cohen began with a strong thrust towards program autonomy, and Aaron became the only program in existence to function as a world-class colorist. Cohen has worked on the program continuously for 42 years. If you don't form a relationship with some, somebody you've talked to, something you've talked to every day for 42 years, there's some, something a bit odd. But of, of course, you're right. The, the whole culture is um, dependent on computing. There isn't one field, genetics, weather prediction, you, you name it, that hasn't been dependent, not just influenced by, but dependent upon computing. Today, Cohen regards Aaron as a collaborator rather than an independent artist. The changing states of this relationship are reflected in the three groups of works in this exhibition which include works on paper made by Aaron and presented as orthodox edition prints, as well as one-off printed images that have been permanently mounted and surface treated to function as paintings. In the most recent work, Aaron generates underpaintings rather than completed images, printing them onto canvas for Cohen to develop by hand. The last group of things in the show really comes out of what is perhaps the biggest single breakthrough in my career after meeting my first computer. The computer had printed simple backgrounds on two panels, one in white and one in gray, and Cohen was tired of looking at them. And I thought, at least I'm gonna get rid of those stupid backgrounds. And I dug out all my paints, which had been in stories for 10 years at that point. And I started painting over the background of these little panels. And the change was astonishing. I mean, the whole image changed its identity. You could no longer see whether some was painted and some was printed. It became a completely different kind of object. After a lifetime of work with Aaron, his cyber collaborator, Cohen ponders what may lie ahead for the autonomous artist. Well, Aaron could go on producing work indefinitely. Um, the, the problem has always been that it would go on being the same work. Not the same individual image, but the same yeah. formulation. Yeah. Which, by the way, is what most human artists do anyway. And they don't do it for the next 200 years either. Um, but no, I mean, to be realistic, I, I don't, I, I, 
I rather suspect that Aaron will end when I end, um, because I don't think anybody, why would anybody want to take up my other half? Based on the vivid, expansive works that have graced the halls of the Gallery at Cal 2, it would not be surprising if someone did opt to replace Cohen someday as Aaron's future collaborator. The exhibition runs through December 9th in the Gallery at Cal 2 on the first floor of Atkinson Hall on the UC San Diego campus.